Hey guys, so we just heard your amazing panel. It was really long and a lot of people weren't here. So we just wanted to sum it up for the people who weren't able to watch and listen to what you said. Um, if there are like three major tips that you'd like to give to people who are starting off their businesses and don't know how to get the money to start it, what would it be? I'd say uh, start your business. Don't, don't wait till you get the money in. Uh, two is uh, be scrappy. You can do a lot of things really cheap and uh, go after the friends, families, and fools and try to get a little bit of money just to make sure that you can, you can get it started. And then three is just have some passion and some determination. It takes a couple of years to make something work. Just realize it's going to be a long process and be, be passionate about it. Awesome. So I'd say number one is most folks that started have to take some risk at some point. So even if you think you don't have any money, you've got credit cards, you've got some friends and family, and a little bit of capital, five, 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars can go a really long way. The second thing is spend time building relationships. So raising money is a job like anything else. Right. And so it takes a lot of time in getting to know people, making sure that they trust you, building those relationships. And like anything else, it takes time to develop. And then the third thing is if you need money, just email Andy at Buddy TV <laughs> because he gives almost everybody a check who asks for it. It's a little known secret, not a lot of people know about it, but we broke it here today at Blue Glass LA. Is it okay if I email you guys later? You know, I, I need some money personally. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I forward all the emails right on to Andy, so it's perfectly fine. So just like one quick thing, what makes a company worth investing? A small company, what do you guys look for first thing? Uh, great team, great entrepreneurs, and the ability to execute on what they say they're going to do and get a return for their investors. For me, it's uh, the entrepreneur. They're fun, they're exciting, they're passionate. I just have to like the business, and uh, if that's the case, then I'll make the irrational decision to invest. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.